Okay, guys, in this lesson, we're going to take a look at the different types of lab panels that you may run across when you're taking care of your patients. Now, the beauty of these types of tests are that they can provide information quickly. Uh, they usually include more than one system, so you can take a look at your patient's electrolytes and liver function at the same time without submitting uh, two different tests. Another beautiful part is that they're often performed on site. So you, you have your like hospital lab and they can run them there. It also gives information about specific anatomical systems. So it can take a look at maybe kidney function or uh, liver function as well. These, these tests can be really simple. They can be really complex. One thing that you need to keep in mind is that the more complex the lab or more complex a lab panel, the longer the results are gonna take. And we're gonna get into that information a little bit later. So let's start off with two basic panels that we look at. So you have the basic metabolic panel or BMP and you have the comprehensive metabolic panel. They're very similar in some of the tests that they run. Uh, but one of the things that you wanna look at when you're looking at your BMP is it gives you a snapshot at things like your kidney function, which is your BUN and creatinine. Um, they're going to tell you what's going on with the kidneys and then it's also going to give you some some kidney values in response to like electrolytes here. And then you have your glucose test, which is going to be your blood sugar. And uh, this and like I talk, was talking about the electrolytes, this is going to tell you what's going on with your patient's electrolyte status. Again, we go into all of the little nuances of all of these specific labs later. So check those out in those lessons. But when we're looking at comparing these two panels, the comprehensive metabolic panel is going to do some of the same things. So you're going to have your bean and creatinine to check out your kidney function. You're also going to have your glucose for your blood sugars. And then you're going to have your electrolytes down here. Also, it's also a light. Now, the, the difference here is that your uh, comprehensive metabolic panel is also going to take a look at your liver function. So you have your alkphos, your alanine transferase, your, your AST. It, uh, the comprehensive metabolic panel is also going to take a look at proteins. So you've got your total protein, your albumin. Again, remember that your, your comprehensive metabolic panel, because it's much more complex, it's going to take longer to get back. So if you have to get a quick response for uh hey, we need to see what's going on with my patient's kidneys and um, their blood sugar and electrolytes, then request for a basic metabolic panel because it's going to give you more information. It's going to give that information quickly. Whereas if you need something that's going to be a little bit more in, uh, in depth, your CMP is going to be your better one. Just remember that it's going to take longer. Now, another lab test that you're going to see is something called your complete blood count or your CBC. This is a really interesting test and it's a super common one. What it does is it gives you an idea of what's going on with your patient's cells. Um, so you can see thing, you can check for things like anemia or uh, you can look for things like leukemia, possibility of infection or even inflammation. Um, Here's what's included in your CBC. Typically, you're going to have something called your red blood cell count. You're going to have your white blood cell count, and you'll often see this um, as a differential, which basically breaks down all your white blood cells into, uh, into all the little subcategories, and there's another lesson on that one. Um, then uh, it also takes a look at your H&H &H or your hemoglobin and hematocrit. So this kind of refers back to anemia. Uh, it also takes a look at platelets, which are responsible for clotting. So this whole value gives you some ideas as to what's going on with your cells, so it can give you some insight into these things. It also gives you some other values like MCH, which is mean, mean corpuscular hemoglobin, and then you have um, then you have your MCHC, which is your mean uh, corpuscular hemoglobin concentration. Basically, these are just fancy things to check the size of cells. Um, but these are going to be your big ones that you're looking at when you're looking at your CBC. You're also going to see other types of lab panels. So you can see things like your liver function test. These are going to be like your ALKFOS, your AST, your ALT. It's also going to look at your total bilirubin. It's going to give you um, a bunch of different values, but they're specific to the liver. And they're not necessarily included in some of your general panels. 
renal panels function the same way. They're going to look at things more specifically to that um, to that organ. So you have things like your BUN and creatinine. It's also going to look at albumin. It also you may also get a urinalysis on your patient. But we're looking at kidney function, and we're looking at the kidney function as a whole, just like your liver function. We're looking at the liver function as a whole versus just general snapshots. You can also have other panels. Um, these are going to be things like your lipid panels or you have uh, cardiac markers um, and you also have electrolyte panels. They have their specific purpose and it's important to understand where they fit into the grand scheme of uh, you taking care of your patient. Now for this lesson, it was really important to take a look at the nursing concepts of lab panels and patient-centered care when we're talking about the different types of lab panels for your patient. So let's recap. First, understand that these different types of lab panels give you a big picture as to what's going on with your patient. It's going to tell us uh, what's going on with your patient's systems. The other thing you need to remember is the more complex the test, the longer the results are going to take to get back. When you're looking at your two metabolic panels, like your BMP and your CMP, just remember that the BMP is going to cover your kidneys, your lights, and your glucose. And then your CMP is going to be your BMP plus things like liver and uh, proteins. Don't forget about your CBC because that's going to give your information into things like inf infection, inflammation, leukemia, or even anemia. And lastly, there are lots of different lab tests out there. Uh, so this isn't any a, a comprehensive list in any way, but what it does is that uh, it does tell you that there are other function tests available. So like your liver function test or your renal panels. And they give us sna uh, snapshots into specific symptoms. So that's it for our lesson on lab panels. Make sure you check out all the resources attached to this lesson. Now go out and be your best selves today. And as always, happy nursing.